Welcome back. Unit two, we're going to start learning some tunes on the baritone ukulele. Remember, we're trying to become campfire ready, so if we sit down at a campfire, take out our baritone uke, we can entertain people for hours and hours and hours and play song after song after song and have a nice long repertoire, which means our list of songs is going to be long and extensive. So our first chord we're going to learn is G major, which is probably the easiest chord, one of the easiest chords to play on the baritone ukulele. And of course, a G major chord is made up of G, B, and D, which is Do, Mi, and So in G major. And you know, you'll probably be doubling one of those notes because you have four strings, and a G major chord is made up of three notes, G, B, and D. So all you're going to do is you're going to press down on the first string, third fret, with your ring finger, which is finger number three. Remember, your thumb does not count in numbering your fingers in baritone uke. Finger one, finger two, finger three, finger four. So I'm going to control my thumb. It's going to be there for support. I don't want it loose. Depending on the size of your hand, you know, that's going to, that's going to tell you where your thumb is going to go. My thumb's going to go right here. I'm going to take my ring finger. I'm going to press down on the fret, not on the fret bars, but in between. I'm going to get a nice arch. I want to try and push this knuckle so you get a nice arch onto the string. If I'm flat, I might accidentally touch a string I'm not supposed to, which will mute it. Okay, I'm arched, and I use the tips of my fingers for a down strum and the tip of my thumb for my up strum. Strum with me. Touch the strings. Now C major, I'm going to take my first finger, I'm going to find the second string. When we talk about this in class, try to do it without looking. Find that second string, find the first fret of that second string, and now take your second finger, which is your middle finger, and go to the fourth string, second fret. So my first finger is on the second string, first fret. And my second finger, which is your middle finger, is on the fourth string, second fret. This is my C major chord, C, E, and G. I'm nice and arched. My thumb is not loose. I'm not breaking that egg. I'm holding that egg. Okay, I pretend I have an egg in, the, in my left hand here. Of course, if you're left-handed, your egg will be in your right hand. Try the strum with me. Be a little out of tune. Let me tune. Good. Okay. Now D major is the triangle, is the triangle chord. So it kind of makes a little triangle with your fingers. Your first finger is going to find the third string, second fret. And your second finger, your middle finger, is going to stay on the same fret, but go to the first string. Then your ring finger is going to split the difference and go on the second string, but on the third fret, nice and arched. If you're flat here, you'll get a lot of muted strings like this. So make sure you're arched and get a good squeeze. Remember, you're going to build up strength eventually. First, it's going to, you're going to get a lot of buzzing strings. That's okay. Take some time to build up that strength. Make sure you have that egg in your left hand. You're nice and arched. Your thumb is under, is under the behind the neck of the of the uke for support. Get a nice squeeze. notes. Every now and then add some eighth notes. Ta, ta, D, ta, ta. Let's go back to G. Let's try to no look G. You ready? Two, go to G, no look. Sneak a peek. Are you on G? Make sure you're using that ring finger, that third finger. Now, you can do those three chords. We've been working on those in class. I'm sure you're pretty good at those already. We can play This Land Is Your Land. Now, there's different rhythms for these songs you can use. You can either decide to use quarter notes, so you'll be strumming on every beat, down strums. You can decide to use half notes. You're going to be still strumming down, but you're going to hold each chord for two beats, or remember in 4-4 four, four time. Or you can do whole notes, which will give you a lot of time to switch, so each chord's held for four beats. 
So we're going to first do this land is your land using whole notes. And it starts on the C chord. Even though it's in the key of G, in this case, we're going to start on the C chord, which is the four chord. So first finger, second string, first fret. Second finger comes all the way to the fourth string, second fret. Here we go. One, two, three. This land is your land. Go back to G. This land is my land. Triangle D. From California. Back to G. To the New York Island. Make sure you're Archie. From the Redwood Forest. Back to G. To the Gulf Stream waters. Triangle D. This land was made. Back to G. For you and me. Now let's try quarter notes. So with your G strum, get ready to go C. Ready, go. As I was walking back to G, that ribbon of highway, triangle D, I saw above me, easy G, that endless skyway, C, I saw below me, back to G, that golden valley, triangle D. tempo as you get more comfortable. Let's try it at a pretty fast tempo. Get your C ready. One, two, three. We'll do chord notes. One, two, three. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California. Okay, add eight notes every now and then. G. Island. From the Redwood California. To the Gulf Stream Water. Triangle D. This land was made. G. You and me. Good. Hope you enjoyed This Land Is Your Land lesson.